Hello there. My name is Mark, and today I'll be talking to you about vitamin D deficiency and documenting my study of vitamin D deficiency. So, what community am I going to focus on? I'm focusing on the United States because vitamin D deficiency affects a lot of Americans. In the U.S., uh, up to 42% of adults are affected by vitamin D deficiency, and going into more detail, 63% of Hispanic adults and 82% of African American adults. However, I'm unsure of the accuracy of these figures, as in another article I read it was 25% of Americans. However, this, this difference might be explained from children and the elderly having higher levels of vitamin D but the elderly having a higher level of vitamin D doesn't quite make much, sen much sense to me. So I'm still looking for true figures uh, on this front. How does vitamin D deficiency affect the community? So what is vitamin D deficiency? Vitamin D deficiency is a lack of vitamin D that impacts your body's ability to perform critical functions. Some possible symptoms of vitamin D deficiency include depression, bone loss, a weakened immune system, which can affect other conditions, and multiple sclerosis. And this weakened immune system has become uh, especially important in recent years during the COVID-19 pandemic, which I'm going to talk about in the next slide. So why are solutions needed for our vitamin D deficiencies. So a vitamin D deficiency in the weakened immune system that comes from it can play a critical role on the severity and survivability of COVID-19. In an article from UC Davis Health, uh, Patients with a vitamin D deficiency were 14 times more likely to have a severe or critical case of COVID-19. And additionally, the mortality rate for those with insufficient vitamin D levels was 25.6%, compared with 2.3% among those with adequate levels. And I think this quote really highlights how important it is for people with a vitamin D deficiency uh, to work on improving their vitamin D levels as it can really play a major role in your health. Uh, and that's all I have to say for today. Thank you all for listening.